so I'll never forget, I was working at Burger King and I was 16, 16 or 16 and a half. And I was visibly pregnant, very pregnant. And this man was upset because his order was incorrect. I think he had tomatoes on his sandwich and he didn't want tomatoes on his sandwich. So, so he came back through the drive-thru. I was the cashier. So, you know, a lot of times when a patient, when patient, <laughs> a lot of times when a person complains, I would be the first to hear it, especially if it was through drive-thru. So he was very upset. And basically, of course, I apologized. I was you know, very nice to him. And before he left, he looks me square in the eye and he says, that's why you're knocked up and you work at Burger King. And he drove off. That, that really, I don't want to say it changed my life, but it had something to do with me changing my life and making choices that would, you know, improve my circumstances. So today's video is kind of based on something I put on Instagram one or two weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, and it was basically two words, don't settle. That post on Instagram meant a lot to me. Whenever I post something, like it really means something to me. And a lot of times I'll even post things as a reminder to myself. And so what was behind that? <laughs> Don't settle. I'm talking to people who are taking the reality of their life small realities. So many times we accept these small realities. And what I mean by that is basically right now, the position you're in, you may, it may be a struggle every month to pay your rent or your mortgage. Uh, you may feel like you're locked in to where you are and you can't get ahead. And some people will just accept that. And they're just like, okay, you know what? This is my life. I'm just going to go to work every day, have fun when I can, and this is it for me. I'm just gonna stay here and just plan on retiring in 20 or 30 years. That's fine if you're happy with your life the way it is right now. I'm talking to people who really deep down inside are not happy with where they are in their lives. And I mean, I've been there. I've I've been at the point where I'm not happy, you know, with my life and what's going on in my life and I want to change, but I kind of don't know where to start. I I really I'm sitting here and I'm just like I want more, but you know, then, you know, there's fear, there is uncertainty there is um, there are not enough supporters but a lot of people who kind of try to talk you out of bettering your life I don't know why that happens but it does all the time so you know once you make the decision to change and you make the decision that you want to improve your life and you just don't know how, um, I'm talking to those people. Today's video is just encouragement to sit down and decide first that you're not going to settle for where you are. That's the first step. The first step is to say, I don't like where I am right now and I don't wanna stay here. And then comes you know, planning and whatnot. <laughs> another video. But today's video is just basically for those of you who are not really happy with where you are in your life, just know that you don't have to stay in that space. You don't have to stay there. 
first make the decision that you want more, you want a better life, or you want to, you know, whatever, whether it's go back to school, whether it's start a business, you know, work for yourself, whatever it is, it doesn't necessarily have to be nursing. Um, whatever it is that you want to do, start making a plan and then implementing it in your life. And sometimes it takes a while, but that's okay. I mean, I've said this in my videos before that the time is going to pass anyway. So why not do something that's going to make you happy? Why not do something that you're going to benefit from in the future? So my post on Instagram, don't settle. It's basically encouraging those of you who want more to not let fear and uncertainty, don't let that get in the way and stop you. Don't let what people say, their doubts get in your way and stop you. Make the decision that you're not going to settle for what your life is right now, that you want more. You have hopes and dreams and then make a plan. So using myself as an example, when I finally decided that I was not going to settle for how I was living before, which was, you know, as a teen mom, high school dropout, no money, struggling, hating my life. When I decided that I wanted to change everything, I just woke up one day, like I said before, and I just decided that you know I was going to change everything and then what happened after that was I sitting on the couch eating bonbons all day looking at reality tv shows no I didn't have time to do that was I sleeping till noon heck no sleep was something that I did not get a lot of uh, basically after making the decision I started looking into schools like i needed to get my ged first so i started calling around about you know trying to find out information about ged classes and after getting my ged i immediately started honestly right after i took the test i felt like okay i passed i kind of felt like i knew that i passed and I started planning to go to school to get my LPN. And I knew what school I was going to. I knew how much it was going to cost. I was already investigating financial aid and scholarships and whatever type of funds I could come up with. So there were no questions. If someone asked me, oh, I wonder what the prereqs are for the LPN program at Ivy Tech, I could tell you without even looking at their, um, the guide, I could tell you what they were because I had spent so much time investigating. I knew everything I needed to know about that LPN program, all of the fine print, everything. So for those of you, especially CNAs, nursing assistants and um, LPNs that want to transition to a career in, you know, as a registered nurse, well, CNAs that want to be LPNs or RNs and RNs that want to go on for their bachelor's or master's degrees or doctorate degrees or whatever. Um, even if you're not planning on starting the program tomorrow or you're not planning on starting the program until January of 2017 or you're saying, oh, you know what, I need another year to prepare and then I'm going to be ready to start the program. You should be preparing now because it takes time to research these schools. It takes time to really figure out where you want to go and how you're going to make that work in your life. It takes time and it takes planning. So well before you're ready to apply for the program, if you're really serious about it and you're really serious about changing your life and making changes, then you should be researching all of this now. And that is a very important step. And it makes, it really made me feel good. And I felt happy because I could tell that I was taking steps towards reaching my goal. So in a nutshell, you know, if you, you know, make the decision 
that you're not going to settle for where you are. You deserve more. You deserve better. Once you make that decision, then it's time to make a plan. And I think that's where most people fall off. We talk a lot about what we want to do with our lives and the changes we want to make. And then that kind of ends it because you're, then you start, then you start coming up with, oh, but I have to wait because I have two kids. Oh, but I have to wait because, um, you know, I'm getting married next year. Oh, I have to wait because I really don't have the funds right now. I need to work three jobs. When you really make the decision that you're not going to settle for where you are in your life, then everything else that's going on is almost like noise that you just block out and you want your and then you start to think, I want this and I'm going to get it. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to get this because I want it. And once you develop that mindset, then you become unstoppable. So for those of you that are watching this video and you're thinking, you know, I really want to change. I really want, I need a change in my life and I want to reach my goals. I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get there. It's almost like it's a dream, you know, especially if you're like a nursing assistant and you're thinking, oh, I want to, I want to become a nurse practitioner one day. It's almost like you say it, but it's hard for you to really believe it. And I used to feel like that, but then I stopped. Uh, I tried to stop myself from thinking that those dreams were dreams. I started thinking, nope, that's my future. That's going to happen. And I'm working towards it right now. And if everyone else can do it, I can do it too. Just understand that if all of these people are doing this, they're going to school and they're, you know, getting degrees and they're making their dreams come true or they're starting businesses from scratch that have become very successful and made them very wealthy and they started from nothing, why can't you do it too? You just have to believe in yourself and you have to decide, like I said a million times in this video, that you're not gonna stay where you are. Like I refuse to stay here and to settle for this life. I want more. And once you decide that and you start putting all of your time and energy into change, making changes in your life, then things have no, you know, things are going to change when you decide that you're not going to, ex to accept anything less then things start to change. So I wanted to make this video short and sweet because I just wanted to give you guys something, especially people, um, that follow me who are not in the medical profession. I hope this video inspires you and I hope that it it um, just helps you understand a little bit more. Nothing's going to change in your life unless you make a change because nobody cares about you more than you do except God. And once you understand that if you don't start doing things, then nothing is going to happen. So you can talk all day about the changes you wanna make and what you see happening in your future, but if it stops there after the statement, after you verbalize it, then, you know, that's just where it stops. But how many of you are like researching what you wanna do, writing things down, making a plan, checking off boxes as you complete the steps? I like really do that. So it's just time to verbalize it, which is awesome. It's great. Speak it because when you put it out there in the universe, I believe that, you know, you, you speak things, we speak things into our lives, good and bad. But after that, what happens after that? We have to act. We have to 
we have to make moves. And so I hope you guys, you know, I hope you guys got something from this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it.